I think the obvious choice that most lead singers usually do is to do some quiet acoustic introspective record. And that's just not my jam. That's not me. <laughs> that's just not me. Grammy nominated artist Josh Ramsey has been a lead singer for Juno award winning group Marianas Trench for over a decade. And he's co-written hit songs for other artists, including yes, this song we all know. Hey, I just met you. Ramsey is finally venturing out on his own with his debut solo album titled The Josh Ramsey Show. I had always planned at some point, it was like a life goal for me, like a bucket list type of thing. At some point, I'm going to do a solo record and I'm just going to play all of the instruments myself. I'm going to do that at some point. And basically, I never got around to it um, because Marianne Trench is a full time job. Um, and being a producer for other people is also a full-time job. And then all of a sudden the pandemic happened. At that point, I was like, this is the perfect time. The lead single off the album features Nickelback Chad Kroger, who owns 604 Records, the label that signed Josh when he was a teenager. Do you remember the first time you actually met Chad? Uh, the first time I met him, uh, him and the other owner, Jonathan Simkin, were looking for a building to rent to have their future project, which was 604 Records. And I went with them looking at various real estate options uh, for an afternoon. And we sort of struck up a friendship at that time. Aside from Kroger, there are a number of duets, including Serena Ryder, Fifi Dobson, Tyler Shaw, and Dallas Smith. And I can tell you guys, Dallas is such a boss singer. He's so good. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anyone lay down a studio vocal that quickly. Like he was only there for like, we only recorded him for like 15 minutes to get his vocal on that. Like he's so good. His debut album also features a song Josh wrote about his late father that features his sister, Sarah. The album's already stacked with great collaborations, but there were just two artists that weren't quite able to make their schedules work. And those two people were uh, Brian Adams and uh, Sting. There's no official release date for his debut album, but it is expected to be released in the first half of 2022. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.